because people only remember that, that they just assume, oh, Power Rangers is nothing more than a stupid kid show where people punch each other. Like, no, the show has evolved. The show is a family show now, okay? It teaches lessons. It's got some surprisingly brutal lessons at times. Yeah. And, like, even then, though, a lot of people, as Ryo discovered when he watched it with me again, uh, a lot of people remember the first season wrong. Because Very like, because like, uh, like one thing everyone makes fun of is oh the obviously like oh those buildings were conveniently empty, but no, the very first time a monster attacks, there's a scene where I believe it's Kimberly if I'm remembering correctly where yeah, she actually noting. yeah she yeah. A- she actually shouts oh my god those poor innocent people the evacuations so, and shit didn't start until monster attacks became the goddamn norm yeah. I mean, yeah, I still joke about the cardboard warehouse, too, but... People died. Off screen, yeah. but they died. And yeah. they fucking established why they have the world's fastest evacuations in ever. Okay? You kind of need it when Rita Repulse is on the loose. <laughs> so, you know what? Actually, something I never really learned about uh, the original Power Rangers... Hmm. Was it ever widespread news that Rita Repulsa was kind of a thing and she was the one sending these monsters? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I, I could never really remember. Like, you know, it was on the news. Like, Rita Repulsa has sent a monster at us again. Ah! Actually, yeah, I think happened. that almost happened word for word. They oh, were on yeah. the air and they jacked the news station. Yeah. But who jacked the news station? Rita? One of the monsters Rita. she created. Oh. Yeah. There was also the time Rita just pettily said, wow, that kid sucks at soccer. Go kill him. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was fantastic. Like, I'm not ad-libbing. And, like, uh, fuck, like another thing they that uh, people might find, and, like, this is something also that I argue with people about in Yu-Gi-Oh!, which, again, I'd say rewatch it. And, yes, I'm specifically meaning the dub here. Like, people always go, oh, people never die. Right, or people never even talk about the possibility of death. Well, one, Not we just proved true. that wrong. And two, there's actually a, a scene late in season one where I believe it's Tommy who was the one in danger that episode, right? I think it was during Tommy like the whole... Tommy Yu-Gi-Oh? No, 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 no. This is, this is Power Rangers. I'm going to transition. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, and I said Yu-Gi-Oh you can also make this sort of thing for. Uh, just, just hold on a minute. Hmm. Uh... I, I believe it was during the Green Candle arc, right? Mm. And and everyone's freaking out, and they're like, oh my god, fucking, not only is he in danger, but he could lose his powers. And Zack actually goes, he could lose more than just his powers, man. He could lose his life. So, yeah, no, the older will dir- fucking kill him. Yeah, they, they directly talk about death. <laughs> so Let's not forget his spirit quest, where he literally saw the ghosts of the departed. Yeah, that was a thing. But Dark. so, yeah. And then, like, as for you, and again, I, I bring this up with Yu Gi Oh! because a lot of people are always like, oh, the Yu Gi Oh! just everything is nobody dies, everyone just goes to the Shadow Realm. Well, no. Uh, that, the, the that, Shadow that Realm was, was made me. up. That was Show. for kids. What? That but no, was here's... made up to no, no, talk no, no, not. No, 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 Wrong. See, this is where we get to this. In the dub, they do straight up talk about death at certain point. Like, for example, the duel against Pain. Pain straight up said, I'm going to use these fires to burn you to fucking death. Like, like he doesn't say the word fucking, obviously, but, like, no, he, he had every intention of just burning Yami alive. He didn't Let's give a not shit. forget when Bandit <laughs> Keith did the same thing at the start of Battle City. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, there was no Shadow Realm there. He was just going to burn him to death. Like, even no, that, fuck. the Shadow Realm is worse than death. It's like being sentenced to hell. Yeah, and not only that, too... But, yes, the Shadow Realm is more involved in the dub, but in the original, the Shadow Realm does exist. It's just not brought up as often. Although, so, I'm, I'm just going to be upfront about this. Season 0 of Yu-Gi-Oh! is the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, even though it's only canon in broad strokes. but I don't care. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to murder you in a bunch of creative ways. Yeah, that was the thing. So, like, yeah, it's stuff like that that people always misremember shit, I've noticed. Or, like, they like to exaggerate. Like, uh, 
again doing Yu-Gi-Oh. They talk about, oh, every other word out of Yugi's mouth is about the heart of the cards. When me and Ryo rewatch, like when me and Ryo rewatched Duelist Kingdom, I counted. You want to know how many times out of I think like how long was that arc? Like thirty episodes. Duelist Kingdom was like about thirty-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want you guys want to know how many times he brings up the heart of the cards? Maybe six or seven. No, five. I I counted exactly five. If you want to get on somebody about love and friendship, get on Taya's ass. Pretty much. <laughs> like, but yeah, everyone's like, oh, that's all he talks about. Like, no, he, that, that's just something, it's a running thing. Like, it's not like every episode, like, fucking. I mean, like, Rand, and, he actually pushes it a lot harder during certain moments in later seasons than the first season. Yeah. And like, uh, everyone always talks about, oh, the heart of the cards is like, basically a superpower. Well, no, again, like, they straight up say it's just a philosophy. Like, even when Kaiba's arguing with Yugi, he even says, the heart of the cards is a great philosophy for you, Yugi, but I have real problems that I need to take care of. So, like, <laughs> And let's not forget that the heart of the cards actually is just thoughts. The only reason Yami wins everything is because his puddle literally lets him change fate. Yeah. He is a cheater. So, if you would watch the show... Wait, so he can actually shuffle yeah. his deck with his powers? He can draw yeah. whatever he wants because of the puzzle. Neat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he literally but... cheats. Yeah, but unlike, say, Yusei, who actively knowingly cheats and therefore is a terrible scumbag, Yami actually does not realize he's cheating up until, like, the last few episodes. Plus, come look at some right. of the bullshit Yami's had to duel. I mean, only a few of those were actually... A lot of them had death attached. Or Fuck Shadow you, Pegasus. Realm. Pegasus. Pegasus was yeah. an asshole. Yeah, like he that. deserved it. We should probably uh, continue forward. Yeah. Yeah. How long but... is this? I'm pretty sure this has been going for like what two and a half hours now. <laughs> well, no, nah. we took a long break. We yeah. took a long break. Right. That's right. But yeah. So again, why do we need R-rated power? We don't need that. All you're going to end up doing is trying to be, like, too serious and dark and gritty, and it's going to fail. Because, like... Oh, fuck, I cut myself on that edge. Because, like... Exactly. Because, like, (laughs) even... Even the seasons that are more serious of Rangers, and yes, those do exist. Like, like, for, like, the one that almost everyone will go to is Time Force, so I guess I'll go that to that, too, just for the sake of it. Great season. Yeah, like, even Time Force, which is a more serious season. It has a serious storyline. Even it realized, okay, it's about a bunch of, like, color-coded superheroes fucking fighting monsters and shit. So, yeah, like, the they... Tower. Yeah, so, like, they had fun. Like, yeah, they, they, they had, like, a serious character story and whatnot, but they, they still realized, okay, well, on face value, this is still silly, so we're gonna have fun with it, you know? There was a lot of silly stuff, but it fucking worked. Yeah, you know, like the fucking dragon that was just randomly in a cave outside the fucking city for no guarded, reason. Guarded, guarded by the Black Knight of Doom, who was also ho- like hiding the spirit of the Valiant Knight from the medieval <laughs> ages with a power up for a time traveling superhero in a mecha suit. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and he was just there forever for no reason. Seriously. Yeah, so, like, yeah, I mean, so, like, to clarify, there's nothing wrong with taking yourself seriously, just don't take yourself too seriously, you know? There's nothing wrong with having a little fun at the same time. No, shows are not fun. Shows have to make you question your existence or they don't work. God. Well, fun is something people shouldn't have, but we're talking about entertainment here. <laughs> I know. I was just making fun of a recent trend me and Ryan have been noticing has been rising. Right. No, it's okay. Ninja Storm is the worst season ever because it's goofy. Yeah, yeah, there's that. But that's a whole different can of worms, okay? Like, we're, not, we're not getting in there. So, so, yeah, that... I, I guess that'll bring my fucking rant to a close. This episode's full of ranting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys are pissed off today. Don't, first don't worry. Lies and now me. I'll close on a good note. But we're, yeah, we're we're gonna end the news on a good note, though. Okay, so Ryo, how about you deliver to us the greatest news that we could possibly have hoped for? Uh, actually, wait, Ryan, you didn't cover one bit of news, I don't think. What news are you referring to? It's about that game you hate. 